it's all too often that veterans come home and they're faced with a variety of opportunities and services that are out there. We feel here on the municipal level, we have a responsibility to capture those veterans when they come home and to make sure that they are connected to the incredible resources that are available to them. We collectively decided to do here in Newton was to open the center and the post. Um, we want to make sure we can provide uh, job training, we provide job placement, health and human services delivery, uh, social activity for veterans, as well as connect veterans to the incredible resources there are on the state level, the nonprofit level, and private level. All happening here, one stop in the center. Uh, part of that is promoting this post. It was two years in the making to open the new Veterans Center at the American Legion Post 440. Lieutenant Governor Tim Murray explains why these centers are so important for veterans. They come home after seeing and experiencing the traumas of war, not necessarily to bases with natural inherent support systems in place, but they come back to communities where many people, most people, in fact, 99% of the people, don't understand what they and their families have gone through. And so it's incumbent upon us, who are part of that 99%, as citizens of this commonwealth and citizens of this country, to educate ourselves to understand what we can do to support them who put themselves in harm's way on our behalf and who have put themselves in harm's way on our behalf and supporting their families, who in many cases, over the last 10 plus years, have experienced not just one, two, but three, four, five, six, seven deployments. Uh, and just think of the toll that that takes on families and relationships and their finances. That's why this center will help veterans get advice they can really use, like family support, receiving higher education, and finding a job. Veterans are people who have seen, uh, who have, uh, who have uh, been part of some of those state-of-the-art training that exists in the world through our military. They bring skill sets, uh, not only in the technology uh, world, but just in basic skills of working as a team, communicating, understanding goals and objectives, and getting things done, oftentimes in very uh, challenging situations. So uh, uh, we want to just say thank you as well to those employer partners as we continue to push and get the word out uh, about the benefits of, of hiring veterans. During the grand opening of the Veterans Center, Employment and Training Resources Services sponsored 29 employers who are offering jobs and advice to veterans during their Heroes for Hire event. We have a, uh, right now we're doing a tax center. We offer free tax preparation uh, by tax professionals uh, for all uh, veterans. And their families. And their families in the, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know who to call and you know I didn't see any commercial and stuff like that and so thanks to this guy he, he got me here and all these guys are looking to hire veterans they're looking to hire soldiers and things like that and now you know, I have opportunity I've talked to so many people and I'm, I'm, I'm I can't wait to get out of here just like so many opportunities <laughs> to go uh, fill out applications and stuff like that so I just currently applying with the Commonwealth Department of Elementary and Secondary Education I'm an education professional and was looking for something there and I uh, was fortunate enough to meet uh, a couple of people from the Commonwealth at some of the job fairs and they're here today as well. Uh, so I'm hoping that something's going to pan out with that. Uh, we have software that will help people um, tune up their resumes, uh, learn new skills and um, it's just enriching for us providing that service but also it's, it's um, a great opportunity for veterans to be able to maximize their time in a facility that's open seven days a week and um, we are, are there to help. And We're hoping to be able to find some candidates to come to work for TLC Painting because it's just the type of people I'm looking for, very dependable, conscientious, never late. and never late and you know it's just what I need for my business. We've just recently hired 200 veterans. Um, we're in the process of adding another 50. We'll be sending out the cards in the next week. So veterans get the preference with Boston, well statewide. Um, and so Boston seems to be the employer of choice. The security is primarily looking for people with a security background. Um, also we're looking for people with a good customer service background. Anyone who's good with dealing with customers has a good interaction, good interpersonal communication skills and generally would be able to be a, a good sit for many, many different types of sites that we offer. The center is in its beginning stage and will serve the region. With Massachusetts leading the way in helping veterans of all ages, 
The center will be the model for others. The whole purpose of this center is to grow organically. So we want to meet the needs of veterans, but we want to hear from veterans, what do you want? What do you want this center to be? The only way we're going to be successful, as Dory said, is for you to tell us what you need. What are you looking for as employers? What job are you looking for as veterans? What services are you not able to access in your community, in your daily life right now, so that we can bring them in this room and provide them to you as needed? Jen Adams, Newton News, Nonantum.